this video will show you how to import data into into Drishti. Now Drishti has uh, two programs. One is the importer and the other is renderer. Your data has to be imported into uh, Drishti using Drishti import and then this imported data can be viewed or visualized using the render. Let us first import the data, Drishti import. Now you can either drag and drop your file or your image stack directory into this um, Drishti import or you can go here in files and then load uh, your data if it is a form of if, if it is a directory say if you have image stack or dicom uh, then you can go through directory if you have a single file or multiple files then you can just go via the files menu let's load the this data set it is it's a raw file so when when you drag and drop the file it will ask you what file type it is same with the directory now in this case we know that it is a raw file <clears throat> this file has a 13 byte header where the first byte is 0 byte uh, is, is 0 so it is taken as uh, unsigned byte or unsigned character voxel type uh, this single byte is then followed by three integers um, f 4 bytes each so uh, and these this is the grid size so the three integers define the grid size of the of the volume now if your raw data doesn't have the header then uh, you will you will get wrong values here essentially you will get garbage here so you go and change the voxel type you have unsigned character character unsigned short short int and float and then the grid size can be changed you can also skip the header bytes now in this case we don't want to skip any header bytes we just want to take as it is so select ok once you have done that you the program will go in and uh, create a histogram this is the 1d histogram of of the data and this is the is the data so let's just increase this box size now you can use command minus uh, this is on mac on mac you use command minus and on windows uh, it's alt plus and minus or control plus and minus these are the slices in the data and this is the histogram you can press space bar when you are hovering over this color gradient and you can change the the color scheme and this is the histogram so here these these top values are the values in your data set raw values 0 and 255 and these are getting mapped to the byte now in this case our tooth data set is is unsigned uh, character or unsigned byte therefore we have the minimum and maximum values as 0 and 255 and these are mapped to 0 and 255 so we are just essentially taking the same uh, same uh, data without any modification let's then save it so save as press s and we will save it as say tooth so this will be saved as tooth.pvl.nc now when you have a stack of images or when you have data you can look at the data from two sides one from the top and another from the bottom and that is why we have this option whether you want to save uh, slice zero as top slice or or the bottom slice because uh, the way in which we we collect the, these slices it will change uh, the left and right um, sides in your uh, in your volume when you actually go in and render the data so let's just take the default one we do not want to save the raw file along with the preprocessed volume we also don't want to subsample in z and xy and we will just accept these default values so once this is done these files are created here tooth.pvl.nc and 
2.p.lc.001 your actual data is in these 001002 files and pv.nc is it, it has got links to these files here so let's kill the importer and let us run the render so this is the dashti render Now here again, like importer, you can drag and drop the data into uh, the render window or you can go in and load the volume. So let's just drag and drop. Now here we use this pvl.nc file and then drop it into the render. So it has now loaded the data and we have a default transfer function here press F2, function F2, now on Mac it is function F2 and on Windows it is uh, just plain F2. I have pressed F2 here, function F2 and we have the volume. Let us change the transfer function and using shift key and then left mouse button to change that and this is our volume. So in this video what we have done is imported the data set tooth.raw. This imported data set got converted from raw file to tooth.pvl.nc and tooth.pvl.nc.001 file. Then we closed the importer and then started the render file, uh, render program and in the render program we uh, dropped the pvl.nc file and we got our image.